If you're running multiple bamboo lab printers like I am, keeping track of all these filaments can be a nightmare. I have all these spools, different colors, and I need a way to manage them efficiently. Right now I have no good way of seeing which filaments are loaded where other than clicking on each individual printer and I have no way of seeing exactly how much is left on the spool. The AMS already reads the RFID tag on the spools to identify them so I figured why not use that data to build an inventory system for tracking. This isn't exactly a new idea, but I figured I can pull that information in real time using MQTT and store it and then create a system that shows me exactly what filaments I have and where they are. So far, I've set up an MQTT broker, which receives the data from my bamboo printers and it tells me what spools are loaded, how much is left on the spools and lots of other useful information. Once you have all the data, then you just have to create a front end which allows you to access the data and visualize it in some useful way. That's where this index.html file comes in handy. That way we can view it in a web browser and run our code on a Raspberry Pi so we can access it anywhere on our local network. For this project, I'm using Pi Bamboo, which is a Python project um, located inside of HA Bamboo Labs or Home Assistant Bamboo Labs. So with our current code running, we can open a web browser and go to our local host. And you can see the filament data is displayed. Here we have a button to add unopened stock, which gives us the option if we get a shipment in to add specific colors and it'll fill out the hex code information. And then we can put in exactly how much of it that we ordered. Currently, depending on which printer is selected, the information for each AMS will pop up here. You can see for printer one, I have three AMSs connected. So here you can see I have 53 spools in total with filament still on them. For each color, you can see how many of them are unopened and you can get all the information for all the ones that have been scanned, including how much is remaining. The project is still a little rough. It's a bit of a work in progress, but I wanted to share what I've got so far. If you're interested in seeing how this project evolves, make sure to subscribe. I'll keep posting updates as I get closer to a working solution. Thanks for watching.